When navigating the open seas, seafarers breathe a sense of peace. Away from the pressure and stress ports have to offer. Away from the hustle and bustle of coastal traffic. Away from commercial strain. Away from those sleepless nights. But a certain area of water comes in particular which may oppose to what I describe. It's because of dense traffic, congested fishing activities, radio noise, and deviation from the rules some navigators display. So without further ado, I welcome you to the Far East Seas. Let's go! So in this video, I'm not gonna dive into further info regarding call regs, but I'll show you tips and tricks how I navigate these waters. So before starting my watch, I place the S Band radar on a 12 nautical mile setting for long range detection and monitoring, and the X Band on a flexible 3 to 6 nautical mile setting for better short range target resolution. Make sure that both radars are set to the appropriate picture, or maybe you can do your own customization as long as the map is clean and echoes are clear. But in these situations, customization is always my go-to setup. So on our x radar, where we'll mainly do the fun stuff, set the interference trajectory to 1 to reduce radar interference. Set echo stretch to 2 or 3 to expand the target echo, especially on fishing boat echoes. Set echo averaging to 1 as the seas are normally calm in this area. On this section, range of gain is adjusted at 20 to 50 to get that bright echo. Range of sea is set to 20 to 40 depending on sea condition. And range of rain set to 0 to 20 depending on sky conditions. Note that these are only estimations. You can go past that depending on your present condition. On this area, set VRMs to 1 nautical mile and 0 0.5 nautical mile respectively. This will be your guide later if other vessels vectors pass over it. Set vector to relative to know where the targets will be relative to own vessel's movement. Set vector length 10 to 15 minutes for early predictions or you could go past that to which you prefer. For me, I switch off CPA alerts as you will be constantly monitoring the radar in this area. It still depends on you though. Lastly, set the trail to around 3 to 4 minutes. This will help you determine that a target is moving or is idle. The longer the trail, the faster the target is. Now that you have set up your radar, start acquiring targets that are likely to cross or collide with your vessel. You will determine these vessels are possible targets as their trails and vectors will move towards you. Due to the number of targets present, it's not possible to display info of every target acquired as the limit of acquisition is just at 6. So acquire relevant targets only. Hence the VRMs. Let the vectors and VRMs do the work. Vectors that pass the 1 nautical mile VRM applies that the target's closest point to your vessel in 10 to 15 minutes is roughly 0.5 to 1 nautical mile. And when it enters within the 0.5 nautical mile VRM, it applies that the target's closest point of approach to your vessel is below that limit and the risk of collision is probable. Vectors that will strike through your VRMs should be monitored closely. If ever a situation arises, use your call regs. EBL is also a good tool for predictive course alterations as there are limited areas for navigation. Use those as your guide. Another note to consider, not all targets seen on the radar is a vessel. You will notice countless AAS targets without an echo and what's even worse is some have no AAS at all. It's because these are fishing markers. These objects are basically not a real threat to navigation, but they may pose a viable cause to rudder or propeller immobilization when caught and in some cases, fines may be made. So in this situation, I didn't rely much on each vessel's info. Seeing all vectors were outside the 1 nautical mile VRM, less course alterations were made and a whole lot of confidence established. But remember, the seas aren't always at your favor, especially at the far east. But with good knowledge packed in your bag, life is a whole lot easier. So regardless what type of vessel or object is present, it's best to keep clear of everything just to be safe. With everything said, this tip not only applies to this area, but to other areas as well. So I hope everything is in order and wishing every seafarer a good and a safe watch. And if ever this video helped, give me a thumbs up, click that notification bell, and hit that subscribe button. Peace!